Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk about the league mechanic. Now I normally actually haven't done videos this early on with my thoughts on the league mechanic, but I have to say I really like this one. So simply put, explaining the league mechanic in the most simplicity possible. Uh, you have all of these slots over here on the left side. You're kind of doing like this auto battler. Every single icon over here represents an enemy totem. For this enemy to be removed from the game, you need to kill the totem, not necessarily the enemy. So over here, you have defenders who protect your base. You have these little ones here, which I forgot what they're called, but they basically follow you. You have attackers, which are kind of your front line. And then you have flankers, and the flankers' sole objective is to avoid the enemy and PK the totem. So if you're familiar with MOBAs, like say Dota or League of Legends, we would call this backdooring, right? We all know that very well. Uh, one thing I will say is that the League mechanic is a lot of fun in a party, and normally I don't really get to experience party play like this so it is really 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 enjoyable you also get to gear up some of your exiles and kind of have some fun synergy the rewards feel pretty shit but the, the mechanic is fun as you win more your rating starts to go up and as your rating goes up you actually start to get drops so for example the last one that i stopped on i got an enhance and my friend got a six link so enhance is not necessarily a good gem but it's a rare gem and i believe it is kind of in the same boat as empower and enlighten so that tells me already we're like getting to the bracket where things get good. The league mechanic is pretty interesting because if you die, you don't actually die. You come back to life after five seconds, including players in hardcore. Um, and it's pretty strategic. Like you'll see what I'm doing here. You'll see is my buddy is in the back here. He's playing a spark, uh, spark trickster. And I'm basically the frontline RF inquisitor trying to stall and pull aggro on everything while healing my allies with Kong ground. And he is trying to basically cap the objectives while I stall. Uh, very fun actually works out pretty well you know we are so far flawless up to 257 rating i think um probably gonna have to gear my character more now there are a few things that are a little frustrating um so let me explain some of them number one one of the frustrating things would be uh trying to interact with these totems you see me like left clicking them if you receive any incoming damage maybe not damage over time but any form of hit your character gets stunned for like five seconds for most people this is like a game breaker right for me, as an RF player, I just find it funny because I get stunned and then the RF just kills the enemy and I'm just healing because life regen, right? But in general, I can find this to be very, very, very frustrating. There's also some really crazy modifiers in here. So, for example, some of these minions in here overwhelm physical damage reduction. So, RF jugs, you better build some conversion. There is one guy that literally walks around and he has a debuff that says, your life regen is zero. That guy's pretty fun too, said no one ever. So that guy is is kind of messed up, right? Um, but overall, I mean, it's pretty fun. It's really easy to interact with. You basically get these coins while you're mapping and uh, you can spend them to actually like participate in the league mechanic. One thing I don't like though, is when you're playing in party play, so you have the reward chest, which is basically for completing it, you pick your reward. Uh, and then you, when you win the tournament, you have an option of two. Now only the host gets this and the second player doesn't always get a reward which I don't know if that's a bug or not. So that's kind of kind of weird. We test around a little bit and we never really got to a full conclusion on basically like how, right? I don't know, let's see. We're trying to see now if he gets a reward or not. He's trying to open it, but he can't open it. And okay, he got a reward that time. So that, that time it works. So essentially uh, the way you, w what happens is when you um, interact with the, the little portal thing over here, right? I see if I go back or not, I'm not quite sure. But when you go and interact with it, you'll see a roster tournament style. And when you are participating to fight some of the enemies, um, there will be rewards. So your rewards are over here. So basically, if you win, you get this. But then you have sponsors. Sponsors are basically your currency for acquiring new dudes. So let me go ahead and use an example. I'm going to skip through really fast here. Uh, this is the first round, so it'll go by pretty fast anyway. Uh, so the round is done. Now you can see I was hovering over my currency there. Uh, let's see if I go forward. And when you're walking by the people, you can sort of see this currency, right? But one of the common strategies right now is basically buying people who are on sale. So you can see here I have 750. You'll notice someone is on sale because they'll be at like a discounted price and they usually have an item. Um, so when they're on sale and they have something like that, you can buy them and then sell them back later. So here I just purchased an NPC, right? You'll see now, uh, let me just wait and you'll see me actually put the NPC down. Oh, we got a tip for the website. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So here you can see me putting the spear on flanker, and then we kind of go. 
I'm gonna jump through a little bit again and you can kind of see so there's my chaos and his chromatic orbs now I'm gonna probably look at my resources again and I have Arahangui so let's see I'm probably gonna go walk over there which is down here so I can interact with them and then you can see I can't really afford this stuff so again but a strategy you can do is you can buy stuff from any faction and then sell it to any faction at 50% rate so that way you can kind of mix around your uh your uh, what is the word I'm looking for uh you could like all in on one faction basically I think is maybe a way to say it right overall though like I said I'm pretty excited it's a really nice pace from mapping I I, I guess I would say I don't always like when league mechanics are in my maps and I don't want to uh, like interact with them like say crucible because it's scaling off map mods and it's just annoying and stuff like that this is like a very different pace so I really respect that it's part of the reasons why I like sanctum and granted the one thing I didn't like about sanctum was shield charging and getting flushed into the toilet but I really liked that sanctum was like break from my maps go do my sanctum right so overall very excited to do this in SSF and uh, can't wait to continue doing it so Anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. If you did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash pox. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll see you guys all tomorrow.